Okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for, the completed, the running, the reassembled projector. Here we go. We'll start the motor first. Now, turn the motor speed down to its lowest. Okay, I am no longer getting electrocuted when I touch the projector. Because this shorted out filter capacitor, I removed it completely. Seems to work fine without it until I find a suitable replacement. Here we go. Lamp. And as you notice, the light output is significantly reduced when I put it in the runs position. Like so. It opens up the, the, um, the light blocking piece. And it now is a running machine. So we'll try to focus that in a little bit. You can see there's some kind of gunk around the edges of the of the frame, and that is actually in the the main pro the, the light bulb projection lens. And there's nothing I can really do about that at this point. So the the mechanism itself is much quieter. Um, it's the motor that's making all the noise now. So I'm going to put this in the forward position. And as you see, the lower spindle starts up at its normal operating speed. And that slip clutch that I showed you earlier, as you can see, it, it allows it to stop. And it's pretty smooth, too. It shouldn't be grabby, and it shouldn't try to pull it unevenly. It should be relatively smooth. And this one's got some ways to go. So. Here's again the drive axis, the drive shaft. This is the, this allows you to manually turn the shaft whenever position you want. And we're gonna slide that back into place. And we'll refocus it. There you go. This is what forces the, um, the film against the, if you call it a platen. Now you can see it's running pretty well. Nice and hot. So we're going to shut the lamp down. Turn the clutch off in the off position. And slow the motor down. I think mean, yeah, that works pretty nice now. Everything is nice and clean and smooth. Put it in the forward position. Let it go again. I'll take another look inside here while it's cooling off. Motor is not getting as hot as it was before. So as it's cooling off, I'll show you while it's running how this works. So you saw in the previous section how that cam gear works. And that's it in live action. Yeah, this motor used to get pretty hot, and now it's not so much. Gotta be something I can do for these brushes. How many times have you guys worked on a project that it was quite intensive and involved, and you finally feel accomplished after you reassemble it, and then you look in your bench, and you find a screw, or any random piece for that matter, and you look at that screw and you're like, you know, I know where that goes. And then you say a few four-letter words. And then you kindly grab your screwdriver. And you disassemble the whole damn thing again. Because that screw supports the main drive shaft bearing block to the frame. Which, 
is buried deep within the unit.